G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem on this channel. You'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear. You'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes. You'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture. You'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyze historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if Medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you, and you might want to consider subscribing. Alrighty, um, one of the things with natural fiber ropes is you cannot apply heat to prevent the rope from fraying. And you'll, uh, as, as you might do with like a nylon rope or a plastic rope or any of the kind of synthetic ropes that are out there. So, you have to use a technique called whipping uh, in order to prevent the rope from falling apart. It's very simple, very easy to do, doesn't take very long and can actually save your fortune. So these ropes obviously, uh, they, they cost a lot of money. Uh, let's not waste our investments, there's no need to. And um, let's take a look. Okay guys, uh, in this video we're going to whip the end of a rope. This is a natural fibre rope and you'll tend to notice that they tend to fray very easily. That's a bit of a waste of money really when you consider uh, they obviously cost a bit of money. This is a 10mm rope and also you'll notice that the uh, the natural lay of the rope is in a, if you like, a anti-clockwise direction. The first thing I need to do is grab some twine and I'm going to make a bite right here. That's just basically a just a normal loop. It doesn't need to be very big. All right, so I'm going to lay that next to the uh, the rope. Now I'm going to go in the opposite direction to the lay of the rope, and I'm going to keep my whipping nice and tight, neat, and pretty well packed. Okay. You want to go up about twice the diameter of the rope. Now once you've done that, you've gone up as, as far as you feel you want to go, you then want to pass the end of the twine into that loop. All right. Now we want to pull the loop underneath the whipping. We're going to need to keep that a bit firm. Just a nice firm hold on it. Alrighty, and then just underneath, there we go, perfect. Keep it all nice and neat. And then you just trim your excess. Alrighty, um, and there you go, that's, that's how to whip a rope. Very simple, very easy, but it looks really good. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.